Hey friends, it's Becky, otherwise known as the Freebie Lady from FreebieLady.com and today we are going to talk about tips and tricks and hacks and secrets that about all these that only the employees know about. I will have to confess that I love all these. Love, love, love all these. If you meet me for the first time, I'm like, hi, my name is Becky and I love all these. The first thing you should know about all these is that they are cousins to Trader Joe's, like literally cousins. So the brothers own Trader Joe's and Aldi's. So they share a lot of similarities, but they aren't the same store by any stretch of the imagination. The next thing that you should know is that Aldi's keeps its costs down, not by giving you crappy food or crappy product, no, they keep their costs down by having us pay for bags and making sure they don't lose um, the carts. That's why you have to use the quarters. And they cut the cost down in other ways, but that cost does not trickle down to quality of product. It only trickles down to your pocket. One of my favorite things about Aldi's is their spices. So this, for example, is their bagel seasoning. It is the exact same bagel seasoning that you will find at Trader Joe's, but it is like a fourth of the cost. And all of their seasonings are actually made in the McCormick factories. They're the exact same recipes as a lot of the McCormick um, seasonings. However, the cost is like a fraction of the cost to a traditional grocery store or the McCormick name brand. According to my a personal use of Aldi's and scouring the internet, the best day to shop at Aldi's is Wednesdays. And this is because that is typically when they refresh many of their items and when they start rolling out their fun seasonal items. So if you've ever been to Aldi's, you know you have your regular items and then they have this one row of fun special discounts. Like uh, one year I got a bubble making machine for like nothing. They have like doormats, home decor items, seasonal items. And then they also have a section of like fun cereals or fun special buys that they don't have in their normal repertoire of food. And those items are refreshed on Wednesdays. Once they are gone, they are gone and they don't tend to replenish them. There are also amazing deals on those specific items. So not only are they fun, um, they're limited, and they're awesome deals. Now, it used to be long ago that their pr produce wouldn't last long. So I would buy an apple at Aldi's and then I'd buy an apple at another store and inevitably the apple at Aldi's would go bad in like a day and the apple from the other store would stay fresh for a lot longer. However, I found that that is absolutely not true these days. Their produce is the same quality as it is at other brand stores. And even cooler, a lot of times I find that they are exact same product as it, they are at the bigger name brand stores, but they are a fourth of the cost at the other stores. So if there's one thing you should buy at all these, it is their produce. And keep in mind that you have to either bring your own bags to all these, buy a bag, or you can use for free some of their uh, cardboard boxes and whatnot if you don't want to buy the bags while you're there. And while I highly recommend that you buy all of your produce and your meats at Aldi's, I definitely recommend that you stay away from their toiletry items. And I find that their toiletry items are more expensive than they can be at other stores. So make sure you check the prices. Sometimes toilet paper and paper towels are the exact same price. Sometimes they're a little bit more, but for all the other toiletry items, definitely check out the prices at other stores as compared to Aldi's. As I mentioned earlier, you do need a quarter to use the carts at all these, and this is just to cut down the cost of hiring a separate person just to gather the carts in the parking lot. I think it's genius, actually. And when you return your cart, you get your quarter back, but say you get there and you don't have a quarter. No worries. All you have to do is just ask the employee, say, I forgot my quarter. They will give you a quarter to borrow or give you a cart that already has a quarter in it. They don't want you to go home just because you need a quarter. They are there to help you out. 
One of the other things that I love about all these is that the checkout process is always crazy fast and the people are very nice. And the reason for this is the employees actually get chimed on how long they are with each customer and how long it takes them to scan items. So if they are going super, super slow, then I don't know. I think they get a talking to or they get a score or something. But I do know that they keep track of how many items that they scan per minute because they want their uh, checkout process to go as fast as possible. If you shop at Aldi's, then you definitely already know this, but there is no bagger. You take your items and you go to the front of the store where there's a little shelf thing and you bag your own items. Uh, don't let that stop you though. The deals are definitely worth the bag your own, or you can do what I do nowadays and I just do grocery pick. The Aldi's cashier has the ability to change the price of the items as needed without calling the manager. So what does this mean for you? Say you get an item, a bag of apples, and one apple is bruised and you still want the entire bag. I don't know why you would, but just say you did. You can ask for a special discount on that bag of apples and they may be able to give it to you. You get an item that's supposed to be a present, the box is damaged, but you still want the item. You can say the box is damaged. Can I have a special price on it? And the cashier should be able to discount that item item specifically for you. Like Costco, all these has items that they actually take a loss on just so they can get you in the store, hoping that if they get you in the store, you will buy other items. One of those items is milk. They consistently will have the lowest price of milk of anyone in your area. Go ahead and try to prove me wrong. I bet you won't find it any lower at any other place than all these in your area. The only one downfall that I can see in my eyes about all these is they do not accept manufacturer's coupons. <laughs> However, you can use Ibotta, Checkout 51, and Fetch Rewards with your um, I'll all these purchase. Checkout 51, Ibotta, and Fetch Rewards are all apps that are on your phone. And if you want to learn more about them, I have put a description about them in the description box below. Then also will be pinned on the first comment. With that said, anything I mention in this video will be in the description box below and pinned to the first comment. Another thing that I absolutely love about all these is their double back guarantee. So what this means is if you get a product that is not up to your satisfaction, all you do is return it and they will not only give you a new product, but they will give you your money back for that original product. That means they really stand by the quality of their product. All these does sell name brand products, but I will warn you to make sure you check the price of the name brand items to the big box stores because often the name brand items are priced more than the big box stores. Let me give you an example. My son loves the goldfish. So I saw the goldfish at my local Aldi's. I checked really quick at Wegmans and they are always double the price at Aldi's than they are at Wegmans. So stick to the basics when shopping at Aldi's and if it is a name brand item, just be sure to check it out at the name brand at a big box store before buying it at Aldi's. For those of you that don't know, Aldi's originated in Europe. The great thing about that is they have fancy European chocolate at amazing prices. If you love chocolate or you're like a chocolate connoisseur, it is well known that Aldi's chocolate is the best chocolate out there for the price. Another bonus tip is that I have heard that the three wick candles at all these are better than the three wick candles at Bath and Body Works. If you agree with that statement, leave a comment below. If you don't agree with that statement and you have had personal experience with both candles, also leave a comment below because I'm not sure if that's true or not because I am not a huge candle connoisseur. All these has weekly specials, but they are not nationally the same weekly specials. So be sure and check out the ads at your local Aldi's to see what is going to be the special for that week. Thanks for watching, my friends. That's all I have today for all these tips, tricks, secrets, hacks. If you are liking this series, let me know in the comment below and I will be sure to get you more videos like this. If there's a particular store that you want to know the secrets to savings at, let me know that as well. Love you guys. Have a great day. Go out and do something nice for somebody. Bye. If you like this video, also watch a video. Watch one of this video. I think you'll like this one. Bye.